this is the frugal gardener and it's that time of year again our annual sweet potato harvest i have been doing this for the last couple of years with the frugal daughter who's out of town and the frugal nephew who was here with me today hello everyone i had to keep well some of my garden i had to sorry kind of let go because it was, it was just was too much water that I would have to have put. My water bill would have probably been about $200, $250 a month if I would have kept my whole garden. But this was something I paid close attention to. He was here with me today. Hello, everyone. So that's my nephew, Aaron. We had um, two containers last year and three this year. I got a bigger I guess it's a whiskey barrel, whatever. I think that's what they call it. At any rate, I needed the pots. So I kind of just dumped everything in here. You can see it's kind of overflowing. I'm kind of excited. Basically what we do, what I do is I plant this, uh, these potatoes in the middle of May. And I usually harvest them in September. And I keep them for Thanksgiving and Christmas. This year I decided to wait until October. So we're around the middle of October and we are about to harvest these sweet potatoes and see how many we get. I call it Christmas Day for the Gardener. So here we go. We had some rain last night, so I usually wait till this dries out. Oh, we are looking good. We are doing okay this year. Wow, look at this. We got a couple of large ones here. Usually find the big ones on the bottom. One, two. Just a small one. Another decent sized one. Well, sometimes you get one or two, and sometimes you get a nice amount. I think this year looks like things are working out. I wish it was a little drier, but hey, I'll take it. Here's this smaller one. I think I'm going to just manhandle this and see what it gives up. It's actually split a little bit on me. another one another one and they're good this year it's a few more I think I'm gonna bring in the shovel try to get rid of some of the soil So like I said, this is more than one pot. Well, originally it was more than one pot. That's why I'm finding them in different areas because the pots were put on top of each other. So I'll go back through this. Once I'm done, here's another one. Yep, it's been a decent year. You want to use the rest of this for compost? 
Uh, I'm going to use the vines for compost. I'm going to, I need, actually need more soil. So I will end up separating these vines from the soil. Wow, look at this. <laughs> Nice. And another, I'll rinse, rinse these off. And we will have plenty for Thanksgiving. And maybe a few left over for Christmas. But yes, I'm more than satisfied with the way things worked out this year. And I'm still pulling smaller ones. This is probably the biggest haul I've had in terms of size. In past years, I've had quite a few, but they were smaller. So, this year, I cannot complain. Not at all. Okay, so that's it for this year. I'm happy with the size of most of these. I thought I'd get a few more, but there have been years when I've only gotten a few, so this isn't bad. This isn't bad when you consider that I dumped everything into, into one barrel. So this is uh, more than enough for Thanksgiving. I have some smaller ones that I will, that I will save and replant in the spring but not a bad haul. Thanks for spending some time with me and the frugal nephew on our sweet potato harvest. And hopefully you will follow us this fall, well, fall and winter, because I garden all year and I'm in the process of setting everything up for my endless summer series. This is the Frugal Gardener and the Frugal Nephew saying when you grow your own food, you always know where it comes from. Catch you later.